what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to go over the simplest method to make guaranteed stubs if this is your first time checking out the video go ahead drop a like on the video hit that red subscribe button make sure your notification bell is activated don't be a hater your whole life and shout out to the mvps and the mvp elites that's been rocking with your boy both mlb and madden 22 in today's video, we're going to go over two methods. We're going to go over cards to invest in, and then we're going to go over cards to make the most stubs off of gaps on the marketplace. Let's get into today's banger. If you're looking for great gaming services, head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FET for 5% off your order. All right, so first we're going to look on the marketplace at performing cards that has the potential to go diamond now one key thing that i want to tell you when it comes to making stubs in mlb the show 21 don't be greedy what i mean by that is you buy cards that has the potential to go diamond and you have to make sure within 24 hours of the roster update when all the cards are at their max you see it when you go to the marketplace you can see cards that you got for 1700 under 2400 stubs that go up to 3800 4400 4500 stubs what is an extra 500 stubs don't be greedy cash out your investments now talking about investments we have cal tucker we have trevor story we have jake cronenworth we have brandon crawford we have harrison bader we have a lot of good cards that has the potential to go diamond if they start performing like they was about two weeks ago. Now these are 84 overalls. If you are getting 84 overalls for 1,125 stubs, you can't lose. If you buy 15 of each of these investments that I'm about to go over with their stats, if they go up to 36, 3,800 stubs, cash out. That is making over a 22 to 2300 profit on every single investment. If you have 15 of those, that would be 30 to 50,000 stubs that you would make. If you got five different cards and you are making 40,000 stubs, you are easily walking away with 120,000 stubs on a bare minimum investment to 200,000 stubs. You have to get the cards while they are low and then cash out. The first card we're gonna go over is Cal Tucker. Now, if you had him, at one point he was sitting at 46 to 4700 stubs. He didn't get upgraded. He's playing up to an 87 inside edge, and I don't care how his past three or four games was. He's at 2200 stubs, meaning that you have a profit margin in between. Get him for 2200 as soon as you see this video. Go get yourself 10 to 15 of them if you want to you can go get 30 of them but you have to make sure that over the next week when next wednesday or thursday come around you have to cash out if he's at 3700 3800 or higher you have to cash out that's going to get you a 14 to 1600 gap on this investment so over the past 10 games he has eight hits he's still betting a 272 batting average with 22 home runs so if he can end the next week of games, the next three to four games, pay attention to how he performs. If it starts off like it did on the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th of August, his price will go up 3,900 to 4,300 stubs all over again. Trevor Story, 2260, barely higher than Kyle Tucker. He's under 2,400, and that's the threshold that I always look for. He was sitting around 39 to 4,300 stubs if you looked at the marketplace about three days ago. So this is a good investment, meaning that you can make almost a 2,000 stub return on every single investment. He has 13 hits over the last 10 games. He's betting a 258, so that's not the best betting average with 15 home runs. So if he can start betting over his next three to four appearances with more power over the next four games, if he can get one or two home runs, that will help his overall stock go up a little higher. He will be sitting at 37 to 4,000 stubs. That's going to give you a 17 to 1,800 profit on all investments. If you do 15 of them, if you do 30 of them, you're going to be making 1,700 to 2,000 stubs profit 
on every single investment. JT Romoto is 1,700 stubs at an 84 overall. You have to go out and buy him. Once his price inflates, he goes up to about 37 to 3,900 stubs, maybe even higher than that, but that's gonna give you over a two thousand profit on each and every investment he's batting a 268 with 13 home runs nine hits over the last 10 games so he started off on fire he's starting to cool off a little bit but how he performs over his next three to five games will help with his overall increase in stock so that 2271 if he gets two or three good games you will start seeing that go to 3271 3500 then you make the decision do i want to hold him for another two to three days or do you want to take that guaranteed 13 to 1400 stub profit that you made on them that's what it's all about because we never know who sds is really gonna upgrade especially if they put a stub sale out and then it's before the roster update they want to sell the stubs to you guys they don't want to be able to upgrade all the people that should get upgraded at that time they say the three-year period but if it's a stub sale that comes on if there's some kind of double xp or something like that they are looking to sell stubs or sell packs now the mvp elites we're going to give a shout out to casey orby big h gamer dexter panita and raymond Edwards. Those are the MVP elites. We just had an MVP elite only giveaway. Hit that join button if you want to be a part of that. And we also going to go into a stub method as far as gaps right now. So if you come over to stadiums and you go to Shaib Park, you can put in about seven to 10 of these orders and just wait. And by the time you get done playing the game or you get off of the console, you should be able to have all of them cards and then you can resell them for a 2000 to 2400 profit every single time the more time that you have the more stubs you will make so if you go right here to my orders we go to completed orders you can see i bought the shy part for 2226 and then i sold the shy part for 4745 so you can see a 2500 gap in there they're going to take 470 taxes off of the top that's going to leave me with 2000 stub profit in no time so 2000 stub profit if you have time if you can put 30 minutes on the market if you can put in 20 to 25 of these orders that's going to get you an easy 50,000 stubs the more time that you have to invest in it the more stubs you're going to walk away with you're going to be able to finish all your collections buy any player that you want you can see that we are sitting at 1.756 million stubs okay so i don't have a problem with being able to flip stubs get stubs play the game get all the players in the game if i wanted to but i want to make sure that y'all have a million stubs also drop a like on the video if y'all rocking with me you know i got y'all let's get it if you're trying to be fresh and fly with great quality products go in the link in the description my merchandise is live right now and you can also get a discount using mvp 10 at checkout we got t-shirts v-necks hoodies we got coffee mugs everything that you need for your phone iphone samsung android for the ladies leggings we got it don't be ahead of your whole life and lessons to blessings god bless everybody that gets it if you rocking with me you know i got y'all